praise the living God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless his holy name, almighty God, Jehovah Almighty. We bless his holy name. There is no other God else like our Father. There is no other God else like our Savior, our Redeemer. We bless his holy name in Jesus. Name. Another, another Sunday of the year, we bless his holy name, almighty God, excellent Jehovah, wonderful Jehovah, great Father. May the Lord bless you all. We greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you for joining, for joining, for tuning in. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. This is virtual summit in Christ's ministry. Hallelujah. Today, our this is our service. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. We like to have a word of prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, oh, oh Son, Daddy. Father, there is no other God is like you. You are the most high God. And I will thank you for your goodness, for your lovely kindness, Almighty God, for your keeping us alive, for your bringing us once again to sit at your feet, Almighty God. And I will thank you for this service, Almighty God, that taking place right now, Father. We bless your holy name. We exalt your name, Father. Father, mighty God, come and have your way in the name of Jesus, Christ, Father, my Lord. And I speak to each and every one of us, O Lord. Holy Spirit of God, we welcome in our midst. And I have mercy upon us, O Lord, and cover us with your special blood. Or just speak to each and every one of us, O Lord. Father, for your glory in Jesus' name. Father, you are mighty, you are excellent, you are wonderful. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. Father, take all the glory, take all the honor, take all the praise, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. I have, I have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That wonderful name, Jesus. That wonderful name, my Savior. That wonderful name, Jesus. There is no other name. My no, that's wonderful name, Jesus. That's wonderful name, my Savior. That's wonderful name, Jesus. There is no other name, my no. You are so good, you are so kind. Almighty God, you are so good, you are so kind. Almighty God, you are so good, you are so kind. Almighty God, you are so good, you are so kind. Almighty God, you are so good, you are so kind, Lord. Almighty God, you are so good, you are so kind. Almighty God, you are so good, you are so kind, Lord. Oh, mighty God, you are so good, you are so kind. Oh, mighty God, you are so good, you are so kind, Daddy. Oh, mighty God, you are so good, you are so kind. Oh, mighty God, you are so good, you are so kind, Lord. Oh, mighty God, you are so good, you are so kind. Oh, mighty God, you are so good, you are so kind, Daddy. Oh, mighty God, you are so good, you are so kind. Oh, mighty God, you are so good, you are so kind, Lord. Oh, mighty God, you are so good, you are so kind. Oh, mighty God, you are so good, you are so kind, Daddy. Oh, mighty God, you are so good, you are so kind. Oh, mighty God, you are so good, you are so kind, Daddy. Oh, mighty God, you are so good, you are so kind. Oh, mighty God, you are so good, you are so kind, Daddy. Oh, mighty God, you are so good, you are so kind. Oh, mighty God. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Our God is so good, he's so kind. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for God, for his goodness, for his lovely, for his lovely kindness. We bless his holy name for his mercy. We bless his holy name in Jesus' name. And we like to read the word of the Lord, the book of Psalms 150. I read in Jesus in the book of Psalms 150. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. 
Praise the God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty us. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the statue and the harp. Praise him with the timbering and the dance. Praise him with the string string instruments and the organs. Praise him upon the loudness symbols. Praise him upon the high sounding symbols. Let everything that has the breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Praise ye the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I would like to call upon our, our evangelists. Hallelujah for the opening prayer. Hallelujah to the name of God. May the Lord bless you, my evangelist John. May the Lord bless you, man. Amen. I'm very sorry for the noise in the background. Is the neighbor celebrating birthday? So just bear with me. I cannot control it. We want to thank God again for today. We bless the name of the Lord. We exalt his holy name. Let me give a word of prayer. Father God Almighty, I bless you, I honor you. You are so mighty and faithful. We commit this time again to you, Father. Blessed be thy name, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are so good, you are so kind. Oh, mighty God. You are so good, you are so kind. Oh, mighty God, you are so good, you are so kind, Daddy. Oh, mighty God, you are so good, you are so kind. Oh, mighty God, you are the Lion of Judah. Oh, mighty God, you are the Alpha and Omega. Oh, mighty God, you are good, you are so kind, my God. Oh, mighty God, you are the Sharon of roses. Oh, mighty God, you are good, you are faithful, oh Lord. Oh, mighty God, you are the Lion of Judah. Oh, mighty God, I praise you. We need you, oh Lord. Oh, mighty God, you are the Alpha and Omega. Oh, mighty God, you are the reason of our strength. Oh, mighty God, who then is compared to you, Lord? Oh, mighty God, you are so good, Lord. You are so kind, Daddy. Yeah. Oh, mighty God, you are so good. You are so kind. Oh, mighty God, who is greater than <clears throat> the voice? Who is greater than Jehovah God divine? There is no one greater than Jehovah God divine. Who is greater than Jehovah God divine? There is no one greater than Jehovah. Hey, excellent Jehovah, marvelous Jehovah. There is no one greater than Jehovah God divine. Excellent Jehovah, marvelous Jehovah. There is no one greater than the Jehovah God divine. Who is greater than Jehovah God divine? There is no one greater than Jehovah God divine. Who is greater than Jehovah God as Savior? There is no one greater than Jehovah God. Oh, excellent Jehovah, marvelous Jehovah. There is no one greater than Jehovah God divine. Amen. Hallelujah. We want to thank God again for today. Let us lift up our voice and thank Jehovah, and thank King of Glory, and thank the Rock of Ages, the excellent God, the marvelous God, the powerful God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. 
You are God, O Lord. You are mighty God. You are faithful God. I exalt. I worship you. I worship you, Lord. I worship your holy name. I worship your mighty name because of whom you are, Father. Because you are the mighty Father. Because you are the faithful God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We are going to thank him for today. We are going to thank you for our life, for our family member. We thank you for our environment, for because he made us to see this day. Let glory belong to him. Let us begin to thank him in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father, for making us to see this day. We thank you, God Almighty, for your, for your love, for your faithfulness, for your protection. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. You made us to see this day, O oh Lord. Glory belongs to you, O oh Father. You made us to be alive, O oh Lord. We adore your name, Father. We Exalt your name, Almighty Father. Glory, power, and honor belong to you, my Lord and my King. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Thank you, King of God. Thank you, everlasting Savior. For what you have chosen for us, O Lord, we say thank you. Blessed be thy holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we exalt your name, O Lord God Almighty. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible tells us in the book of Psalms, chapter 28. Psalms chapter 28, he said, He that covereth his sin shall not prosper, but whosoever confesseth and forsaken them shall have mercy. He that covereth his sin shall not prosper, but whosoever confess and forsake shall receive mercy. Let us go before the throne of grace and mercy. Mm -hmm. Let us confess our sin and forsake them so that we obtain mercy for, for the God of mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. My Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Jehovah, King of glory, and I will come before your throne of grace and mercy. Lord, will come before your throne of grace and mercy. Father, Lord God, will ask you for mercy for any sin we may have committed. Father, forgive us. Forgive us, O Lord. Any sin we commit with our tongue. Jesus, my any sin we commit with our tongue oh, Jesus, and Jesus, with our mouth, Jesus, any sin we commit, oh Lord God, Jesus, in our Jesus, hearts, husband, any sin of suspicion, any sin, oh Lord God Almighty, we have Jesus, committed Jesus, with our eyes, oh Lord, my father, any sin we have committed with our heart and feet, and let Father have mercy on us, have mercy, you are the merciful God, you are the merciful God, have mercy, oh Lord, have mercy on us, oh Father, Lord God Almighty, have mercy. Mighty Redeemer, have mercy. Savior, you can move the mountain. Move any mountain of sin, O oh Lord, ahead of me. Destroy the power of sin in my heart. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray for your mercy. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. The, the Bible tells us in the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 11, Revelation 12, verse 11, the Bible tells us that we overcome the enemy only with the blood of Jesus and with, with our the word of our testimony. We are going to call upon the blood of Jesus to overcome any power of darkness around us, any power of darkness in our life, to overcome any sin, any sin to cleanse off that blood that purified, to purify us, to sanctify us in the mighty name of Jesus. Christ. let us pray. Oh, Lord, oh Lord God Almighty, in the mighty name of Jesus, we the blood of Jesus Father, we plead the blood of Jesus, the precious blood of Jesus. We plead the precious blood of Jesus, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We plead the precious blood of Jesus, oh Lord, we plead the precious blood of Jesus. 
Let the blood of Jesus Christ drip from my head in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus sanctify me. Let the blood of Jesus purify me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we exalt you at him. Father, we worship you at him. Father, we give you all praise. Father, we give you all the adoration because of whom you are, Lord. Because you are God and you are great. Because you are mighty and faithful. Have you obeyed, O Lord God Almighty? In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. The Bible tells us in the book of John. In the book of John chapter 14. Verse 26. John 14, 26, he said, But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in, in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. You are going to welcome the Holy Spirit here. Let us welcome the Holy Spirit. He has the power. He is our leader. He is our director, our teacher. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, oh Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, my Father, Father we call upon Father, the Holy Spirit. We welcome the Holy, we welcome the Holy Ghost here. Yeah. We, we, we welcome our Comforter. We welcome our Savior, Father. Lord, we welcome Him in the name of Jesus. Father God, we welcome We welcome the Holy Spirit. We welcome the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Thank you for your You are welcome in this place. You are welcome in this place in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. Father, we exalt and we worship. We bless you. We exalt and we worship you. We worship you. We exalt and we worship you, Father. We exalt you, O Lord God Almighty. We worship you, Father. We worship you, my Lord and my King. We worship you, King of Glory. You are so mighty and faithful. Take half your way. Have your way. Take control. Take control over us. Over anything we are about to do today. Take control in the mighty name of Jesus. I give you praise and adoration. Thank you, Rock of Ages. Thank you, King of Glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Sorry. Certain children that came to play, I'm telling them to go. The Bible tells us in the book of Isaiah chapter 54, verse 15. He said, Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for their sake. We are going to take authority over any plant of the enemy. On a device, over any device of the enemy, wherever they gather, being it in the air, the land, and the sea, will take authority over them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let oh, us pray. Father, my Father, Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, Jesus King of oh, my Lord, God, we take Lord, Father, 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 King of Lord, we take the authority Father, over any plan of the enemy. We take authority any plan of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of the name of Jesus in the name of the wherever they gather, plan of the enemy. On the air, on the Father, Lord God Almighty, Jehovah, King of Glory, Father, Lord, have mercy. Father, Lord God, have mercy on us. Father, Lord, destroy their way, destroy them, Father, wherever they are. We take authority. Over them. Right we overcome them, the the we overcome them with the blood of Jesus. We overcome them with the blood of Jesus. Let them be destroyed, O Lord God Almighty. Let them be scattered, O Mighty God. Let them be scattered, O King of Glory. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let them be scattered, O Mighty God. Father, Lord God Almighty, constrain the plan of the enemy over this ministry, over our life, over our business, over our children, over their career, over their marriages. My Lord, my King, destroy the plan of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We exalt your name. We worship you. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We are going now to pray for the message and the messenger, the servant of God that the Lord will use today and glorify himself in our life. Let us begin to pray and thank God for Giving her the message he has given her today, he has given to her today in the mighty name of Jesus. Christ. let's pray. 
Father God oh, Almighty, in the name Father, of King Jesus of Christ, Christ. Lord of Lord, King of King and Lord of Lord. We, 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 we give you, O Lord, all the glory. We give you all the praise. Father, for your servant that you have chosen today, Lord, to glorify your name in our life. Father, Lord, we want to thank you in advance for the food you have given us to give to us. We pray to you, O Lord God Almighty, that as you feel our O Lord, Lord God Almighty, let us also, let us also empty ourselves to us in the mighty name of Jesus. She must not return, O Lord, with any of those things you give her to deliver to us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I give you all the praise and all the adoration. I bless your holy name, Father. I exalt your name, mighty God. Thank you, Rock of Ages. Thank you, King of Glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in Jesus' mighty name, let us commit the singer, the choir to God, the praise and worship. Let, it come, let us commit it to God that as his children are singing, let the Holy Spirit flow through them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Oh, Father, Lord, Father, God Lord, Almighty, Father, in, in the name, name of Jesus, Jesus. Father, we commit the choir unto your hand. We commit everything. We commit the choir God. into your hand. Into your hands, Almighty God. Father, we pray to you, Almighty Father, 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 King of Glory. Your daughter, Father, Father, that may we take control, Lord. Lord. Take control, Lord, Father, Lord, 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 Sing. Father, as they open your mouth, let the Holy Spirit flow over them. Let the Holy Spirit flow over them, O Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I give you praise, Lord. I worship you, Father. I worship you, my Lord and my King. I worship you, my Father and my God. Blessed be that name, Lord. Blessed be that mighty name. Thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, O Rock of Ages. Have your way, O mighty God. I thank you, my Father. We are thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Lord. I exalt you. I give you all the praise in, every in the mighty name of, Jesus, name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Jehovah, King of glory, Lord God Almighty, Father, we also bring ourselves to you, thanking you for today, thanking you for what you have done, for what you are still to do. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray this, Lord God Almighty, that as we hear this wonderful message today, Father, our life will not remain the same in the name of Jesus. This message, Lord God Almighty, will take us to one from one level to another in the name of Jesus. We are not going to be only the hearer, but we are going to be the doer of, the, of your words in the mighty name of Jesus. We we'll cover ourselves with the prayer blood of Jesus. Father, feed us, O oh Lord. Teach us, O oh Lord, as we can teach others in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We give you all the praise. We surround ourselves with the blood of Jesus Christ. Clothe us, O oh Lord, with all the armor of God from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be that holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. May the Lord bless you, ma. May the Lord bless you. More grace in Jesus' name. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So right now, it is time for us to worship our Father, Almighty God. That is why I created you and I to be a worshiper, to worship in the spirit and in the truth. Let us be ready to worship Almighty God with praising, with uh, praises and the uh, worshiping. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. In Jesus' name, amen. And we call upon our choir. Hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Our choir in Cameroon. May the Lord bless you all. In Jesus' name, amen. Just one minute, sis. Okay, ma. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for God. They are still, they are, you know, they are right in Cameroon. They are still taking the plate. <laughs> God help us. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. To us, God. Hallelujah. Don't bother. Bless the name of the Lord. Try it again. Give glory to the Lord. Give glory to the Lord. Hallelujah, we give glory to the Lord, 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 we give gl
Wonderful. Wonderful to know that Jesus died 
You are the God of everything, of all life. You are not a man, no. You are not a man, no. You are not a man, no. God of everything, no one like you. You are the reason why we are your Jehovah. You are the most high God. You are the reason why we are your Jehovah. You are the most high God. You are the most high Yes, Master Jesus. There is no one like you.
Father God, we worship you, adore you, we magnify you, we lift you, we thank you, Father God, Father God, you are worthy of our praise, you are worthy of our worship, and how much you are you are excellent, God, you are wonderful, great Father. We now accept our praise for our worship, we mighty God, Father, and we say thank you, mighty God, you are Father, we are thank you, 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 Savior. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord reward you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for the praise and worship. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God Almighty God. We bless the name of the Lord. Amen. We are seeing the mood of uh, worshiping our Father, worshiping our Lord. Hallelujah. So I will call upon our choir in Cameroon for the hymn. May the Lord bless you, my sister and my sisters. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. Oh, happy day that fix my choice until my Savior on my God. We made his glow, we have rejoiced and tell it all, it all of our happy day, happy day, happy day, when Jesus washed my sins away, he taught me how to wash and pray. I Jesus. 
and soul is bound, that far renew, shot daily, yeah, me like light, less than how I am found in death, and born to death, happy death, happy death, when Jesus washed my sins away, he taught me now to wash and pray, I live with sin every day, happy day, happy day, when Jesus was my sins Glory, 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 hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. May the Lord increase you all in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, happy day. Our lovely Jesus, what he has done for us. Hallelujah. Almighty God. Excellent Jehovah. Wonderful great Father. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We thank God for that hymn. We bless the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. I would like to call upon our, our lovely sister for Bible reading, Sister Destiny. May the Lord bless you, my sister. I read in Jesus' name, Psalms chapter 127, verse 1 to 5. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build that built it except the lord keep the city the watchman waketh but in vain it is vain for you to rise up early to sit up late to eat the bread of sorrows for so he giveth his beloved sleep low children are unherited unherited of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the the hand of the of of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that have his quiver full of them; they shall not be ashamed but they have speak with the enemies in the gate. Amen. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you for the word of the Lord, the book of uh, Psalms 127. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord increase you more and more in Jesus' name. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. Awesome God. Excellent, wonderful, mighty Savior. Mm, hallelujah. Testimony time. Blessing time. Time for testimony. What Almighty God has done for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Testimony time. Blessing time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. I know all of us, we got testimony. For God waking you and I up to this morning is a testimony. We bless the name of the Lord, our God is good. I thank God, my testimony, I thank God for waking me up, waking my family up. I thank God for each and every one of us in this ministry. I really thank God for each and every one of us. I bless the name of the Lord. For giving us a great, for giving us a grace to gather together in his in, a, in his presence. We bless the name of the Lord. May the Lord bless God. Almighty God, we bless you for blessing us in Jesus' name. That is my testimony. We are alive. Almighty God protecting you and I. We bless the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Right now, I would like to welcome our followers online and uh, our newcomers, praise Master Jesus and all of us in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless the name of the Lord in the, here in the forum. 
May the Lord bless all of us in Jesus' name. So I welcome, we welcome all the all uh, our followers online. May the Lord bless you for your tuning in, for your listening, for your watching. May the Lord bless you as the Almighty God is blessing us here. You that journey out there, the, the, the same blessing you will receive in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless the name of the Lord. We are, we are grateful for you joining us, watching and listening. May the Lord transform all of us every day when we are hearing his word. We bless his holy name in Jesus' name. So I would like to welcome our newcomers. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Our, uh, is it brother or sister? Uh, to to look to look good. May the Lord bless you for joining us. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you in the name of Jesus Christ. We are happy for you joining us today. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. So I would like to welcome our 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 daddy. Sorry, our pastor. Hallelujah. We are going. To, I'm going to welcome all of us right now here in Jesus' name. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. So I welcome Evangelist and Mary. May the Lord bless you, Ma, in Jesus' name. I welcome Evangelist John. May the Lord bless you, Ma, in Jesus' name. I welcome uh, uh, Pastor, Pastor James. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I welcome, uh, I welcome um, uh, Brad, uh, Brad Joshua. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I welcome uh, Sister Kella. May the Lord bless you. We, we miss you. We thank God for you. <laughs> Well, you joining us once again. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. So I welcome my sister Destiny, Brad Jesse. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, and Brad Samuel, the internet, I think it was the internet. Brad Samuel, we welcome you in the, name, in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless all of us in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless me as well. In Jesus' name, we bless the name of the Lord. I thank God for God. This is the time you and I we are waiting for. <laughs> The word of the Lord said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Almighty God. So right now we are waiting to hear, hear Almighty God, <coughs> excuse me, to eat from his, uh, his uh, throne, the food that comes from above. We bless the name of the Lord. Right now we are going to pray for the servants of God, whom God have chosen to be a blessing to us today, for God to feed her fresh. For God to put uh, his uh, own word in our mouth, for God to open a, a spiritual ear to hear his words, to respect what Father God is telling us. In the name of Jesus, for God to anoint her uh, uh, voice, her uh, lips, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray for the servant of God. Let us pray for her. Oh Lord, my Father. Everlasting Father, Father, we bring your servant, Almighty God, before you, Almighty God. And I will thank you, Almighty God, for your being, the, for your choosing her to be the one that you will use to deliver message to us today, Father God. And we are grateful, we are thankful, Almighty God. Father, Almighty God, we ask you, Almighty God, please, that the Almighty God, use her mightily for your glory. And I strengthen her, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, put your word in the mouth in the name of Jesus Christ. Help Almighty God, open our spiritual ear to hear your voice, Almighty God, and repeat what you are saying to us, Almighty God. Oh, Lord Jesus, Anoint her voice, anoint her list, oh my God. But I send your warrior angels to guide her, to protect her, Lord. But I need spirit of distraction that want to distract her, Father. Let your thunder for and bone and relocate those spirit of distraction and destroy those spirit of distraction out of her lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, be with her, Lord. Empower her, Lord. Speak through her to us, oh my God. But we that here in Almighty God, Heavenly Father, help us to understand your word. But I give us the help us to understand your word, enlighten our eyes of understanding. But I give us the grace to be a hearer and a doer of your word in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for this special moment. Speak to each and every one of us, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I would like to welcome our leader, Evangelist Mary. May the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you all in Jesus' name. We are still in our last week topic of repentance by the grace of God. We are still in there. 
today we are going to continue um like last time i was talking about repentance what is repentance our lord jesus started the message with repentance he want for us to see the kingdom of god we need we need to repent and you also talk about the four steps of repentance is to take res responsibility recognize your sin and regret about it and also take decision to turn away from it don't remain on it when you confess your sin you don't repent you don't stay on it. You have to move on to the next step. You see? Why repentance is so important in the life of uh, believers? Why the, the repentance is so important? It's so important because without it, there is no salvation. For us to be saved, we need to repent from our action, for our attitude, for the things that is not pleasing God. When we was living a sinful life, we have our desire was not pleasing God. We have our own ways of living our life that was not pleasing God. Now that we have come to the knowledge of truth, was able to see our nakedness, was able to discover the spot in our garment, we need to repent, we need to cleanse ourselves. We need to cleanse ourselves. Hallelujah. <clears throat> God says in... Um, in uh, the word of God is telling us in Matthew 9 verse 13. I'll just start in 13. This is where the, the Pharisee was accusing our Lord Jesus that was uh, eating was eating with the sinners, you know. He told them that he told them that the person that is well doesn't need a physician, but he that is sick. And verse 13 said, But you go here and learn what that what that mean mean means. I will have mercy and not sacrifice for I am. I am not come to call the righteous but sinners into repentance. God is calling us into repentance. This message is for you and I that you was born in sinful way. When I say in sinful way, because the only person that was not born in sinful way is our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Is the only person that was not born in a sinful way. We all human beings, we humanity was born in sin, was living a sinful life before, and we come to the knowledge of truth. Our Lord Jesus came to sacrifice himself so that you, you receive the, the life, eternal life that God has prepared for us. Yes, we have the promise of God. <clears throat> the prom God has promised has promised us that you will go and you'll come back again. If you have to read this, you will see it in John 14, verse 3. We have the promise. Our Lord Jesus said, "I will go. I will go, but I will come again to take us. He will take. He will come again to take us where? To take us home? To take us to heaven? To take us to heaven? But all of us that we have that promise, He said, "I will come back again." But is all of them that you're going to to be taken by Him? Is all of them that you make it? No. Is those that are going to repent? Those that are make that you keep the promise of God by keeping yourself, because the promise of God, yes. It's for all of us because God wants all of us to make it to heaven. That is the 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 the, the desire of our God. He want he does he have no pleasure on the death of a sinner, but he wants the sinner to repent, to come to the knowledge of truth, so that he can change his way. If you see in Second Peter uh, three verse nine, it says. <coughs> The law is no slack concerning its promise, as some men can't can't slackness, but is long suffering to is long suffering to us all, not willing that any should perish, but it shall all should come to repentance. You see, God doesn't want us to perish. If He wants us to perish, He will not send His Son. He will not send our Lord Jesus to come and die for us. The promise of God is for us to make it to, to enjoy eternal life in heaven, not in hellfire. That's the reason why He's calling us into repentance. He wants us to check our life daily, especially in this period that we are living. All the thing, evil things is happening. The evil thing is happening. The enemy is not even hiding anymore. The devil is not hiding anymore. He's bringing everything. You see, he's showing all his wickedness. And we can see how is deceiving also many by bringing confusion in the body of Christ, by bringing destruction in the body of Christ, by bringing all manner of things in the body of Christ. And the body of Christ is not even aware of it because they are deeply sleeping in sin. Today, you don't need to look for which, uh, uh, wickedness outside the church because it's happening right inside the church. Bitterness that you used to see outside, we are seeing it inside the church. Malice we used to see outside, we are seen inside the church. Witchcraft inside the church, all manner of things inside the church. 
I'm sorry for the noise in my background. Everything is happening inside the church. You know, when I was in the world, that many people, when they were in the world, let me just not say about me because it's still happening in people's life. They, they come in holiness. You know, when you come to the holiness, you think that, let me just say, when you come to Christ, you think that everything is fine. Then you have said that, you, you know, you start discovering that you have more enemy in the body of Christ than in the world. Because in the body of Christ, hatred. You hate you are doing well. You have enemy that you hate you because you are doing well. You are doing wrong. We have people that you condemn you because you are doing wrong. Whatever thing you happen there, they don't encourage, we don't encourage each other. God wants us to repent. Although we have the promise of God that is coming back, most of us are waiting for rapture. But is it all of us that is going to be rapture? Why the number of Christians that are going to hell it keep on increasing? The most of the people that are in hell, they have come to the knowledge of this truth that you and I, we have had. They didn't take heed. They did not repent for it. They have opportunity to repent. If you see the, the testimony of people, they will tell you that so, so, so person, I saw somebody was confessing. He was a pastor, but because of that, because of this, he was evangelist, but because of that, because of this, when we have opportunity to repent now, God have no pleasure. And the Bible says he doesn't, he is not slack on his promise. You understand? He has no slack on his promise. He's calling us for us to repent. Hmm? He has prepared a good life for us. He has prepared a good life for us. It's not hellfire that he died for in that cross. It's for us to make it to heaven. It's for us, when you are doing something evil, when the Holy Spirit will rebuke you, think about, think about the judgment of God that is waiting for that truth that you and I will know. Let us think about the judgment of God in everything that we do. Whatever I'm doing, is it pleasing God? Is it the will of God for me? Repent. Time is now. Many people have wanted to have this opportunity. It was not given to them. It's not because we, it, 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 they didn't have that chance. They didn't have that chance. Don't compare yourself with so 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 person. Ah, so 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 person even did the same thing, but ah, God did forgive him, even anoint him more. Oh, okay. King Saul obey, disobey God. Did he have another opportunity? When David that committed adultery even killed somebody, God showed him mercy. He said, we Have mercy to whom have mercy, compassion to whom have compassion. Look at the case of Jonah. Jonah was already in hellfire inside the belly of fish under the sea. In that darkness, no hair, nothing. But God showed him mercy. He, do you think it will be your case? Do you think it will be my case? Oh, because so, 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 have time to repent before he died. Probably God will give me also time for him to repent. Who told you? Maybe you, you, you die while sleeping. Maybe you die in the car crash. We don't even have time to repent. We should not wait for the last minute for us to, re to repent. Time is now. Just forget about tomorrow. Don't think about tomorrow. And so many people die thinking of next minute. And the next minute never came. I will repent when it's night. I who told you that you reach your home. Before you repent. Who told you that you wake up tomorrow for you to repent? The time of repentance is now that you are hearing the word of God. It is now that you are hearing the voice of God calling you. That is the time of repentance for you. Maybe God is giving you a last minute grace and you are not even dragging it. You are taking it for granted. He wants us to see the, enjo the enjoyment. The glorious life that he has prepared for us in heaven is waiting. But for us to for us to enjoy all those promises, we must repent first and to cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh. That's why God is calling us into repentance. And when you talk about repentance, especially the people that always, me myself, I will not even say the people because me myself, I use that word when then before I come to the knowledge of truth. If somebody wants to take me and say, hey, leave me. Then I did not know the message of holiness, neither the, the, the message of holiness in and out. But when somebody wants to tell me that, I was calling myself a Christian, I even feel so ashamed when I talk about it, you know. I would do all my usual thing during the week, and my Bible only open on Sunday. Sometimes, it's not even every time. 
Sometime, I remember one day, I was sitting there. It's not because I went out. I was sitting right there. I did not move. From the time everything started, I was there. From the time everything started, I was there. When the, the, the sermon started, I was there. The pastor started preaching, I was there. The first, the first uh, Bible verse that the pastor was opening, everything was there. But my dear, I don't even know where my spirit was. If you have to ask me, somebody asked me, somebody actually asked me, excuse me, sister, what is the Bible verse that the pastor gave? Because the, the lady went to change the, the baby, went to change the baby, took the baby to the you know, to change her. So when she came back, she asked me, oh, sister, where is the, uh, can you tell me the Bible verse that, you know, the pastor just mentioned? I was there. But the kind of blindness, I cannot even explain to you. Stop it. I cannot even explain to you. I was like, eh, eh, with my Bible open. How many people in that situation inside the, the, the church? With my Bible open, my eyes open, I was not sleeping, but I was not hearing anything. It was not even entering. But people, I was in that situation for many years, and people used to call me Christian. And my, me, myself, I used to call myself born again. I'm born again Christian when I was not even born again. If I have to die that moment, many people think that, oh, she has, she's resting in peace in heaven. When I was deep in sin, probably my destination was hellfire. You see? We have the promise. We have to cleanse. When you talk about repentance, it's not just the heart. Ah, God, you only look at the heart. God only look at the heart. My heart was even dirty. Because every sin that man commits, it starts from our heart. Whether we like it or not, it starts from our heart. If I have to answer somebody now, I start preparing it from my heart. Ah, if this one try me, this is the answer that I'm going to pump out the person. If this, you start planning it from your heart without opening your mouth. If you have to loss about somebody before you start, you are talking about those that are dating. It starts from their heart. Then they start manifesting. It will come out from their mouth. Every sin that man commits, it starts from our heart. The dressing starts from our heart. Makeup starts from our heart. Everything starts from our heart. Many people, they don't use it anymore, but they're still thinking of it. They're still losing after it. You understand? It takes the grace of God. We need to ask God to forgive us. Not just our, uh, not just our heart, not just our our heart. Also, the whole body. And the true repentance, you manifest your physical. The change you start from your heart, you bring it physical. If your physical is not yet pleasing God, that means your heart is even filthy. That means your heart is polluted. That means your heart is not even clean. Because for your physical to be clean, your heart must also be pure. That's why Jesus was calling the Pharisees. He said, hypocrite. You want your outside to look clean, but inside is filthy. How can you drink the cup that is dirty inside and outside is clean? You cannot. You have to see both sides clean. You know? It says in, first, in Second Corinthians verse 7, let us turn there. 2 Corinthians 7 to 1. You know, when I, when I, uh, uh, I first read those scriptures, I was in shock. Not really in shock, but I was like surprised. It's like I never read that Bible verse before. With all this year that I used to call myself born again. It said, having therefore this promise, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh. It did not stop there. It did not stop on the flesh. He said all the filthiness of the flesh and what? And the spirit. Perfecting holiness with the fear of God. So you can be clean from outside, which is your flesh. But what about your spirit? Your spirit have to also be blameless. There is filthiness in our spirit. Whether we like it or not. Whether we like it or not, there's a filthiness in our spirit. Not just to cleanse our outside and inside. is is even saying, when you cleanse yourself from all the filthiness of the flesh and the spirit, then you start perfecting. 
That means your repentance become complete. It become genuine. You now start practicing, perfecting to what God start, started in your life. You start now perfecting it, you know. Make it more perfect in holiness with the what? With the fear of God. In the fear of the Lord. You cannot be in the holiness and you don't have the fear of God. You cannot be in holiness you don't fear God. How will you fear God when you are still insulting people in social media? When you start gossiping with no makeup, your mouth, when you open your mouth, the work of the flesh is still manifesting. You still having dominion. That is not the true repentance that Jesus is expecting us to have. The true repentance of God must bring transformation in our life, transformation in our character, transformation in our behavior, transformation in our attitude, transformation even in the way of talking. Transformation complete everywhere. Repentance is we are, when, when you are repenting, that's why we need to repent continuously, every day, every second. Because you can keep yourself holy for all the 50, 55, 59 minutes or 59 seconds. But that one second alone, it can make you come out from the will of God and is enough to disqualify somebody. That's why repentance is renewing your covenant with God at this moment. You renew your covenant with God, Father, remember me. Remember me, Lord. Give me the grace. You always want to be in the presence of God. We all have the promise. He said, I will come again. I will take you. I'm going to prepare the place. Many people have their mansion in heaven, but they are not there to, to, to enjoy it. Because they, they, they change their destination in the middle of the rest by following the wrong destination. They come out from the will of God. Do you think it's multitude of sin? Some of them is only anger. Some of them pride alone. Lead them there. God is not looking for multitude of sin to send somebody to hell. Sin is a sin in the eyes of God. He cannot handle it. He treats holy. He has no pleasure on the death of a sinner. But he wants the sinner to come into the pain, into the knowledge of truth, and to do what he repent. When you repent, don't go back there. Repent brings transformation. He said, repent. He says in Acts 3, 19, it is not only enough to, 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 to repent, but be converted. That's why the Bible said, be converted. Hallelujah. It says in, let us read it. Acts 3 verse 19. It says, repent ye therefore and be converted. So repentance alone is nothing. You need to be converted. When you talk about conversion, you are changing something to another thing. So your old you must die for your new you to come out to come back to life. To come back to life, to change from another person to a new person. So you cannot be converted and you sit in the same situation. No. Conversion means transformation. You are another person now. You want to change to another person that God wants you to be. Hallelujah. We all have the I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Few minutes. Sorry, forgive me for distraction. Hallelujah. We all have this promise, but it's not only those that, you know, will repent that will be able to enjoy this promise. The Bible is telling us in, in the book of 1 Thessalonians 5, 23. That's to confirm what 2 Corinthians 7, verse 1 says. To cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and the spirit. You know, so that you can perfect holiness with the fear of God. Yeah, you might have the promise that yeah, our Lord Jesus is coming. Our Lord Jesus is coming. The Bible says, will come as a judge, and his reward in the book of Revelation says, his reward is with him to pay everybody according to their work, whether they are good or bad. Listen to this whether they are good, you receive your reward. If it's bad, you also receive your reward. That is hellfire. But none of us, whether you are doing good or you are doing bad, none of us will escape the judgment of God. For sure, we all have to stand before him to give an account according to what we are doing. 
in our body, in our spirit, even in our soul. Remember, the consequences, whatever our body is doing, who is going to face the consequences is our soul. It's our soul that you have to face the judgment, not our body. So therefore, check your life, your way of dressing. Is it pleasing God? If you're dressed half naked, my brother, my sister, it's hair fire for sure. It doesn't matter how long you pray. It doesn't matter how beautiful you sing. It doesn't matter how often you appear before God in the church doing the work of God. It doesn't matter. But what matters a lot is your relationship with God. It is your relationship with God. Because on that day, you are not going to be judged with what your pastor has told you so far. What other people are telling you. But you are going to judge to be judged through your action and the word of God. Because we are all to we are all called to repentance. We are all called to, to accept our Lord Jesus as our personal savior. That's why the Bible is telling us that we should walk out our salvation with fear and trembling. It did not say our father's salvation, our mother's salvation. It said your own. Your own. You meant to stand before God alone. Even if you were born twin. Even if you die the same hour, the same minute, all of us, everybody will stand individually to give an account. The thing that you have done in your body, which is supposed to be the temple of God. It is not your own. The Bible says so. It is not your own. You give an account the way you are using your body for prostitution, the way you are using your body for fornication, the way you are using your body for masturbation, the way you are using body to do all manner of things. You can press it, you can tattoo it, you can do whatever thing you do you think is your own. Oh, that day will be surprised. Most of us will be surprised to know that no, 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 no. You have the honor of this body and is waiting to see the way you are misusing it. Let's talk about our heart. Our heart meant to be pure, sanctified. Because the Bible says that the heart of a man is a desperately wicked. Who can know it? Only God. We may be doing the work of God, but our heart is desperately wicked. The sign we can see, but the Bible says we shall know them by their fruit. If the heart is pure, the word that will come out will be the word of peace, the word of joy, not the insult, not the bad attitude. Some people in I'm surprised in the body of Christ they see showing attitude lying. They show themselves as a righteous people, but in the eyes of God, the name is not even in the book of life because they have not yet repented, they have not yet converted. They repent, so they think they have repented, but they have not yet converted for their, their evil way. They are still doing the same thing. They are still doing the same thing that they used to do before. God is calling us to repent. Repentance is not just for a sinner. It's not just for those that have not yet come to the knowledge of truth. Even more important to those that have already come to the knowledge of truth. And those that already come to the knowledge of truth. They will judge you to say, what about, what about what you know? What have you done with it? What have you done with it? Your judgment, my judgment will be more harder than those that have not yet come to the knowledge of truth. Because they can claim to be that I was in ignorance. I never knew. But what about you that know? What about you that know? What do you do with it? Have you repented so far? It's not about doing the work of God. The work of God is alone. It's not going to save anybody. It's just part of the reward that also will say, uh, tell people. It's part of the reward. And for you to think about the reward, you must enter first. If you, have, if you don't enter that heaven, where will you get the reward? Do you know how many people work for that reward and they never see it or receive it? Judah is one of them. He was doing missionary work. He was doing deliverance. Among those people that Jesus, the missionary Jesus sent that to go and do this work, the work of God, Judah was there. When they were rejoicing, hey, we did deliverance, the demon was just obeying us, you know. Hey, the, the sick was healing all this, they were doing all the, everything they thought that it was so perfect. Jesus said, yes, but do not rejoice because you don't great. Do not rejoice because the demon was obeying you. 
They were just afraid of the, the anointing of God in you. It's not guaranteed. The anointing will not make anybody to enter heaven. Rather rejoice because your name is written in the book of life. What do you think Jesus was telling them that? Because he knew that the heart of some of them was filthy. He was full of flesh. They needed true repentance, genuine repentance. They need a genuine repentance that you qualify them. Having the promise is not guaranteed that you'll be the one to see it. Because many had that promise they did not join. The Bible is telling us in um, 1 Thessalonians. This, I love this Bible verse to give to those that you know that they was just like me in my past. I used to say, I got only look at the heart. Even if you do this, as long as your heart is pure, you are right with God. That Bible verse was, was good for me, for me, and for you. First Thessalonians 5.23 And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God your whole spirit, number one, spirit, and soul, number two, and body, number three, be preserved blameless into the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. That means our spirit has to be blameless. You have to be holy and blameless. Our soul has to be holy and blameless. Our body has to be holy and blameless. No mark of sin on it. Three of them. You cannot keep your soul, your body, and your your soul and your your spirit and your body you are still making people to sin because of your way of dressing you cannot claim that your body is your body is okay your soul is okay but your spirit let's talk about the spirit anger is not physical it's spirit bitterness is spirit jealousy is spirit you can see somebody with jealousy and you not even notice it take the grace of God. Sometimes they manifest that in their heart. Their heart will make all the filthiness of the flesh to manifest in our hearts. In the, the filthiness of the spirit. How do you know if your spirit is filthy? You may be witch or wizard and you don't even know. You may be witch and wizard and you don't even know. Because your spirit is not clean. The enemy can come and misuse your spirit anytime and you don't even know because you don't ask. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, ask, call upon me and I'll answer you, I'll reveal you great and mighty thing that your spirit might be doing and you don't even know. Many people, they are wizards, witch, and they don't even know because they use them in an unconscious witchcraft. When they wake up in the morning, they wipe everything away from them. They will not even know what their spirit was doing in the night. I will share with you a few uh, testimony that I had. Then this brother, each time in the night, whether it was every day, whether it was often, or was sometime, this one she did not say. But she said that each, each time she would have the dream, she always see herself eating cassava leaf. Somebody will cook cassava leaf and will come and serve him and he will be eating. You'll be eating cassava leaf. You'll be eating cassava leaf. Until the life was miserable. The life was just miserable. So he was looking God for deliverance of other things. At times we come to God with other things, but our real issue, we don't even know it. Because you are so concentrated in another thing. But God, you allow this thing to come to your way so that you can discover yourself. That is the grace of God. So one of these days, we had uh, seven days, I think it was seven or three days fasting. And after this fasting, on the third day, it had to be deliverance. So I uh, was doing deliverance like that. The brother started vomiting. After the deliverance, the brother was vomiting. They said, anything that did not glorify God in your life, you know, any seed of Satan, whatever, I forgot even some prayer point that they was mentioning. So this brother starts vomiting. As she was vomiting, vomiting, brothers and sisters, it was no longer cassava leaf. It was a human being here. 
It was human being here. He was vomiting human being. So tell me, when did he eat that human being? Hey. It's when he saw himself eating food in the dream. You might be eating meat, enjoying meat. Is it really meat? It might be a human being body and you don't even be flesh and you don't even know. What, what do you always drink in your dream? Maybe it's blood, human being blood, and you don't even know. How many people in deliverance before I come to holiness? I was 15 years in one ministry. They call it Ministry of Welfare. That ministry, I learned how to fight in that ministry. I learned how to do deliverance to the prayer of, you know, that you can chase the demon inside you through that ministry. Because it's all about deliverance in that ministry. I saw, If I tell you the thing that come out in a human being body, you'll be wondering, this demon, the devil is very wicked. A human being body, a lizard. What is that lizard doing in your body? You understand? Those are the things that the enemy come and pollute in the dream. And you think it's no more thing to be eating in the dream, joining party in the dream with unknown people. And you are good about it. This is the state when you see dreams like that, you need to ask God for deliverance to deliver any covenant that you have made with marine power. With the powers of darkness. A sister said, you see, she prayed. She doesn't do all this abomination, but uh, her spirit was filthy. He said, uh, each time uh, I, I see myself swimming in the rivers and I have with other girls, sometimes, you know, I see uh, my leg is not my leg, it's the fish tail. Oh, you have marine power, you are mummy water. You have been sacrificed by the spirit of water. You need deliverance. You need to free your spirit from them. Because there is no way that spirit under the sea will make it to heaven. There is no way those spirits will face the rapture of God. What if you die that moment? Your spirit is not blameless. Your soul is not blameless. Where do you think you pass your eternity? Because there is no ignorant, there is nothing like ignorant in this period. There's nothing like ignorance. It's those times that our God was, you know. It's those times that our Lord was thinking of, uh, uh, was the just uh, forgiving other. Uh, uh, he was, the, sorry, as the word, the word is not coming. So, just say, for example, Abraham. Abraham did the many, because many people, one day, um, somebody was saying that, oh, you people exaggerate so much. If you have to follow the Old Testament, God walked with Abraham. Eh? But Abraham married her own sister. Eh? Even David, they have a lot of wives. Even this one eh? is not a sin. Eh? If you can carry this, you can do this, you can do that. I say, listen, that time, God did not reveal to, him, to Abraham the way he's revealing to us now. You understand? did so many things in ignorance if you have to repeat the same mistake abraham did now you're not going to see the second chance you see hellfire you see you will face hellfire the, for you to be qualified you have to check your dreams you have to check your dream to see the kind of dream you are doing the kind of dream you are having and that dream will tell you whether your spirit is blameless or spirit is, is guilty in the eyes of God. Or you have spot in your garment. It's through your dream that you check your spirit. It's through your dream that you check your spirit. Your heart is the one that you manifest. You see the action of your, your, your character, your behavior, your attitude, and the way of dressing. This is the thing that you need to repent for. Not just, Father, forgive me for the sin that I committed, what I know, what I don't remember. What I, no, 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 no. You say, mention them one by one. The Bible say in First John 1, 19, 1, 9, it say, if you confess, if, if you not confess, you will not have mercy on you, you will not forgive your sin, you will not even cleanse you from your righteousness. But if you confess, you can't them. Father, have mercy. I lied today in my working place. Hey, I promised somebody to call, I did not call the person. I look for things that in the street that did not glorify you. Hey, I did something. I heard the music, the ungodly music when I was doing that it did not please you. Father, the things that you have done, you mention them one by one. 
And when it comes to the dream, you say, Father, forgive me. Anything my spirit was doing in my dream that I don't even remember. Any gathering with the stranger. Anything I eat in my dream or I drink in my dream. Father, have mercy. Deliver me. Deliver me from every covenant that my ancestors have done. That making my spirit to be in bondage. Any evil covenant. My great father. Because those are our, our ancestors. May God have mercy. Eh? They did so many covenants. They sacrificed so many people. Even the unborn people, they sacrificed them. They sacrificed them. You see? Marriage, spiritual husband, spiritual wife, all those things. Some people physically, they don't have children, but in the, in the night, they are plenty. They still breastfeeding them. Those are the things that we need to take. Hey, your dreams. Pray God. Deliver my spirit from every covenant I made. Knowingly, unknowingly, with my ignorance life, Father, have mercy on me. Then, your repentance must bring transformation in your body, in your heart, in your character. And people around you must see it. Matthew 3 verse 8, it says, it says what? It said, that, let, let me just read it so that I'll not make a mistake. Matthew, is it Matthew Mark? Yeah. The, the book of Matthew chapter 3 verse 8. It said, bring forth therefore fruit meat for repentance. What is the fruit meat of repentance? The fruit of the spirit. The meekness God wants us to have. The humble spirit. Peace, joy, all those things represent Jesus in our life. That is the sign that your heart has been circumcised by Jesus himself. Has been circumcised by Jesus himself. Hallelujah. Any child of God who does not bring forth the fruit of holiness, the fruit of righteousness, the fruit of spirit, he has not repented genuinely. Ignorance. Some people they see they still have um, ignorance to the, the Bible, to the word of God. They don't know how to um to know. they will read the Bible, the, the word of God, but they still in ignorance. They still believe that oh no, 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 it's not all about dressing, it's not about this. You people are taking it so far, it's not about this, it's only this, it's only it's, it's just, uh. ignorance is sin. In the eyes of God. The, like I said, the grace that Abraham had, you and I, we not have it this time. We are not going to have it this time. Because God wants all of us to repent. Let us read the, Acts, the book of Acts 17 verse 30. The book of Acts 17 verse 30. Acts 17. Is it? Act 17. Act 17. Mm. Listen what the Bible says. In the times of this ignorance, ignorance, God wicked at. But now I commanded all, listen to this, I commanded all men everywhere to do what? To repent. The time of repentance is, is over. In the time, in another version say, in the past God overlooked such as ignorance. He overlooked the ignorance of Abraham for how many years? He told Abraham, leave your father's house. Come out to you and your wife. He carried he carry Lot with him. And Lot did what he did to him. He still, he went to Egypt. He still had to lie there. When you are already with God, you are still lying. You are still manifesting the work of flesh and you are serving God. You are serving God. You are with God with you. You are still lying. You are still doing all these ungodly things. And you say you are anointed by God. You have the promise of God. Abraham also had the promise of God. But it did not stop him to lie. He did not stop him to obey the, to disobey the word of God because they say, come out to you and your wife, you carry on another third person. And because of that, he was delaying 
for him to see the promise God has for him. But because our God is so merciful, he came to him again in verse 17, Genesis verse 17. He said, walk before me. I'm the almighty God. He reminded him, I'm the almighty God. In case you don't know the power that you are following. In case you don't know the God that you are serving, I'm the almighty God, the higher than the highest, than the consuming fire. So therefore, walk before me and be the perfect. Because if you are not perfect, although I promise to bless you, you are not going to see that blessing. Although I promise to come back for the second time to take you to heaven, but you are not going to be raptured. Because your ways have not yet been, been, been made perfect in my sight. Repent! And mend your ways if you want to see the glory of God. If you want to make it to heaven. So the time of ignorance, I said, that, ah, even Abraham, God have mercy. Even David, God have mercy. Even so, 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 God have mercy. God is telling you now in Acts 17 that he was overlooking them because of their ignorance. But now he's not going to overlook anymore. The time of ignorance is over. Everybody. You was called to repent everywhere, whether you're in Africa, in Europe, Europe, Asia, wherever you find yourself, you are called to repent now, today. That is commandment of God. All men everywhere have to repent. It's not coming from me. It's the word of God. Acts 17, 30. Uh, one day I was, you know, doing evangelism. I was um, sharing the word with one sister. She said, don't tell me it's better not to know because if i don't know when i die god did know that i did not know but if you preach to me i'll be guilty in the eyes of god you're trying to play ignorant you think god doesn't know the intention of your heart you are trying to deceive yourself that time is over that time it was the way god is revealing himself now is not the way he revealed himself for those people even jesus christ said many of you Many in the last time you wanted to see what your eyes are seeing, but they didn't have this opportunity. Many of those times they wanted to see Christ Jesus, but they did not have this opportunity. We, our eyes have seen. Our punishment is even worse because we are crucifying our Lord Jesus. How many times? We are ignoring the pain that he went through into the cross by continually living a sinful life. God said he's not going to overlook ignorance anymore. He's commanded all man everywhere to repent. Everywhere to repent. Even Abraham. He came to a time God had to warn him. He said, I am the almighty God. Genesis 17 verse 1. Let us quickly go there. Genesis 17 verse 1. He said, and when Abraham was 90 years old, and uh, 90 years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the almighty God, walk before me and be thou perfect. Although Abraham was already working with God, but he was not yet perfect. He was not yet get to the standard God was expecting him to go. And why? God knew that, that he was deep in ignorance. He was deep in ignorance. Remember that time. They did not have Bible like you and I we have. Remember that time they did not have the blood of Jesus like you and I we have. That's why God showed him that message. He said that oh, you are still in ignorance. But when the Ten Commandments came, the punishment also changed. When our Lord Jesus came to share his blood, the punishment also changed. Because now you know the truth. Our Lord Jesus said, the light came to the world. The world comprehended not. Rejected the light. Because their deeds are evil. They are so used to darkness that if, when the light came, it's like you are disturbing us. And leave us to enjoy our life. We are okay with it. Who are you? When did you come from? You know. Many people, they prefer not to hear, not to, not to see. So that they can be comfortable in their sinful life. But God today is telling you and I, our work have not yet approved by him. We still have to work hard for our salvation to be complete. We have to check our life daily. 
To check. When I mean to check, I'm talking about your spirit, your soul, and your body. It's not enough for your body to change, but your spirit will have to be blameless too. It's not enough your spirit to be blameless. Your soul has to be blameless too. So that that day, you, know, you and I will not going to appear filthy in the eyes of God. So that day, we are going, you know, I am still asking God, what make Joshua's garment to be filthy? I'm still asking, and I'm still checking. What makes this man, we are talking about somebody that was talking to God like you and I. He was talking not through fasting and prayer. He will just ask God question. God will answer from heaven. Just like he was doing to Moses. But what makes him? I'm sorry. What makes him? What makes his garment? Because there's no way in the Bible that was mentioned that Joshua sinned against God. That Joshua committed this sin. That Joshua did that. But when he came to his judgment, he appeared filthy with filthy garment. He appears with filthy garment. We need to check our spirit, our soul, our body, so that that day we are not going to be like Joshua, that God show him mercy. Because maybe like I'm, I'm talking now, maybe because of his ignorance. But now, in the New Testament, God said that he's not going to handle it anymore. No more ignorance. The time of ignorance has passed. This is the time to check your Bible daily. This is the time to fulfill the word of God in your life. This is the time to meditate it and to observe it and to do what? And to do according to what is written there. We have all that we need. We are complete. We have the Holy Spirit. We have the blood of Jesus. We have the word of God. What else do you need for you to repent? What else do you need for you to amend your ways? What else do you need for you to to? To, uh, to perfect your relationship, you know, to build your relationship with God, to be perfect. God mentioned in so many times, so many places, to be perfect. Even in that uh, 2 Corinthians uh, 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 7, verse, uh, verse 1, he said, <clears throat> no, to cleanse yourself from all filthiness of the flesh and the spirit, to, and then to do what? Perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Perfecting holiness. So when, how do you perfect holiness with the fear of God? By repenting. Repentance brings the fear of God because the fear of God is the one that will make you to repent. It's the one that will make you to acknowledge what you are doing is wrong. It's the one that will make you to, to be aware of the judgment of God. So you renew your covenant with God daily through repentance because you don't want to face what is not, is not prepared for you and I. He was prepared for the devil and this agent. Let us check the genuine repentance. Before I round up, I'll give you one testimony again. Repentance is all about decision. Taking decision to change. By the time you take the decision to change, God will help you. God will help me. There is this sister that we used to pray together like I told you. I was in the min in the ministry of deliverance, a welfare and deliverance, for many years. So this sister was struggling when she came. She was living then in South Africa. She came back to uh, to Angola. So the the challenge was too much to this woman. They give her two children. They give them witchcraft. They give the the children witchcraft. And the children was the, the the wickedness was so much inside the house it made their father to run to go and marry another woman. So you can imagine the the pain of this woman. You can imagine the pain of this woman. When this woman heard about the ministry that they can deliver, as she can have solution of a problem, the only thing that I saw in that ministry they can build you through prayer, through how to fight the enemy, but they will not prepare you for the everlasting life. They only prepare you how to fight the devil. How to prepare yourself like, you know, not to be manipulated by the evil spirit. But they don't talk anything like repentance, anything like heaven. They only talk about daily life. 
they will prepare you. And you have to fight the spirit of poverty. And you have to fight, fight the spiritual husband. Why are you not marrying? You are not married because you marry in the night. All those fight, fight, fight. It's all about fasting, fasting. I was very tiny. I can fast seven days without drinking water. And I'll be strong. I will lose weight, but I'll be strong. I learn it in that ministry. So this woman heard about it. Many people come to Christ. It's not because they love Christ. Many people that are in the body of Christ, they don't even know God. Why? Because they came to look, not to come to look for their salvation. They came to look for solution. They came to look for solution. Solution to their problem. Hey, I'm almost a 40 something. I don't have a husband. Hey, you come to Christ, Christ will give you a husband. What about your tenant? The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and the rest shall be given to you. So seek to see your relationship with God first. What if they give you a husband today and tomorrow you die? I saw a man die in the in the day of his wedding. In the day of his wedding, nobody told me I saw it with this my eyes. You know, they just say, hey, they just bless them. They put their uh, wedding ring, all those things. And the, the brother-in-law say, oh, come outside. They come and take a picture. The, the, cup that the, the, the cup that he was drinking wine with, they were sharing wine. He gave to his wife. He gave to the husband. Also did the same. He, when they called them to go and take picture, he put the cup, the glass, in, inside his pocket. That's how he fell. He felt the glass cut his leg. That's how this boy bleed to death. In the very day of their wedding, the woman became widow. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and the rest shall be given unto you. So going back to the testimony, this woman, the, the husband left. The husband left, and the two child children, they, 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 they give them witchcraft. And you know in Africa, when you talk about somebody that have the children that are not right, ha! you see the way people be looking at you, like you are the one who give them. You become like something. So, as this woman came to look for a solution. He was crying to God, 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 God to change our situation, to change our situation. He started taking the children to the church. As he was taking the, the say, all department of the children, those children was there. They were telling them, you know, if you don't live this life, you go to hell. You know, that is not good. You know, eating human being flesh is not good. They, they were just telling them, teach them before they go into deliverance. So the one particular day, one of them, one of them, he just told the mother, he said, mom, I want to confess I don't want this life anymore. I don't want to be flying in, in the night anymore. I want to change. Can you help me? The mother was like, yeah, yes, I can help you. But how do you think I can help you? He said, listen, you see these people, they come around midnight. I want you to be awake, mommy, please. I don't want to go again. I don't like it. They forced me into it. I don't want it. I'm tired of it. Because... Uh, the, the message that it, they teach them there, they say you can you can also stop. You can de de decide not to go and go to help you. So he was asking the mother to help her. He said, the mother said, okay, I know what to do. When they will come, you let me know. So they were just there. In the time that the child appointed, the mother started hearing noise on the roof like this. The child started screaming, mom, help me. I don't want to go. This woman start firing prayer. Hmm. Ah. He said, in the name of Jesus, anything that connecting my child to these powers of darkness is today that you have to release my, my son. Jesus, you say if you call upon you, you answer. Father. He start firing prayer, prayer, prayer. The child, the, he was a battle. The child was busy screaming, running to one place to another, running. The noise on the roof was too much. The witches and wizards, they came to take the child. The child refused to go. And those spirits was trying to pull the, to, to take, to force the child to go. The child said, eh, eh. The mother was firing prayer. When you see the child going there, the mother will follow. Fire! Fire! He said, come on! The child started, started, started screaming, mommy, the thing is coming out. The thing is coming out. The mother said, which thing? Fire of God! Come out by fire! Come out by fire! 
the child is start throwing out. The mother say, if you see the things the child throw out, <laughs> you have to be a mother of that child to handle it. The smell itself was like all kind of bad smell you can think of. It was coming out of that child. And the thing that was coming out, she cannot even describe it. He said, come out, vomit it to everything that connected you with this power. You should come out now. The child started vomiting, 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 prayer, prayer. The woman will start until when the child finished vomiting, she fall on the floor. Boom. She said, Mom, it's over. The mother said, What? He said, The thing that was connecting me with them is this that, that, that came out. It's over. And the noise ceased. The mother packed everything. She wanted to go, but the, the child said, Mom, please. Don't pack my clothes in because my clothes represent me. If you pack with my clothes, it's like, like I'll die. The mother said, no problem. It pack it. How she managed to pack it, I don't know. When she went, uh, she waited until 5 o'clock. The child said, mom, I will not tell you anything. Today you discover all the wizards and the witches of this, country, this place. Because everybody that you see, they will come out to check. They are one of us. There was one of us, so I'm not part of them anymore. So the mother came out. When the mother came out, it was a fearful thing. The mother said, dead cats. You see cats? Dead. Some of them cut their neck. Some of them, the hand, the leg. It was scattered all over the compound. So the battle that was going on is the angel of God, Jesus himself, came down to save that child. Why? Because that child takes the decision to do what? To repent and to turn away from that way. When you take the decision to turn away from that way, God will help you. So that's how that, that, that child was saved. And when the mother came outside to bury that thing and to, bu to burn it, he saw people start coming, looking. They go back inside. They'll come again. They go back inside. The mother says, so you people was contributing my, my suffering. That's how the, the, the mother burned that thing. When he burned that thing, everybody was coming. People were coming. Those that connected with the new, those power, they were looking. They were looking. And the mother now, it waited for Sunday to come and give that great testimony. And she asked the ministers of God to pray God to close that spiritual eyes that was making the child to see them. So that you will not see them anymore, but you see the angel of God. Because that child did what? He took the decision. So he was wondering, God, why you did not save both of them? Why they did not save both of them? Because one take the decision. He acknowledged what he was doing was bad. And he changed. God will not force you into repentance. He wants you to acknowledge what you are doing is wrong. He wants you to love him and do it willingly. Then your name will be written in the book of life. Repentance is all about decision. Take decision today. Say, I'm tired of this sinful life I'm living. I'm tired of this lust. Each time I see a woman, I cannot control myself. Each time I see a man, I cannot control myself. What is this? A possible cry. I want you to cry today. To say, God, deliver me. I want genuine repentance in my life. So I can be qualified. May the Lord bless you all for having time to listen to this message. For This message is not just for you. It's also for me. Me too, I'm striving to enter. May the Lord bless you all. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. Oh my God, I thank God for this message. I thank God for this powerful message. We bless the name of the Lord. As the servant of God says, we are going to pray for God to deliver us. We are going to search ourselves and ask God for deliverance, for God to deliver us in and out. Our God is the God of mercy. Is the God of mercy. He said, confess your sin. He is the God of mercy that, delay, that, that, that delight in mercy. We are going to humble ourselves before Almighty God. We are going to ask God for mercy, for God to wash us, for God to cleanse us. We are going to ask Father God, Father Almighty God, I want to renew my covenant with you. I want to renew my covenant with you today, Almighty God. Give me the grace, Almighty God, Father, to follow you in holiness and righteousness. 
So right now we thank God for the woman of God. I really thank God for this message. All of us need the repentance every day. Every day we need repentance. We bless the name of the Lord for this message. Right now, we'd like us to humble ourselves before mighty God. We are going to ask him for, let us pray for, for God to help us to overcome our flesh, to cleanse our spirit, our soul, our body. In Jesus' name, let us pray in Jesus' name. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King Father, of Jesus, Father, 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 Jesus, Father, 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 Father,
that teaching you and I, that Father Abraham, that, 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 that time the Holy Spirit was on them. It was not in, in them. The spirit of God was only was not in there because uh, the heart was fiery. Because of the blood of Jesus Christ, that in that time, the Father Lord Jesus Christ said, I will ask for that God to bless you, to, to send the Holy, Holy Spirit <clears throat> with you. Now, in that time, we human beings have uh, the Holy Spirit within and without. And it dwells it dwell on it dwell, it dwell in us, it dwells inside us. Holy Spirit leads us every day. We thank God for the Holy Spirit of God. The new covenant, the new covenant church. We are the new covenant church. You know, you and I, we must know the old covenant. The old covenant was it was hundred percent easier than the new covenant. The new covenant church is much higher. Now, when you hear in the all oh, those ones that are telling you it doesn't matter, you can do this. It doesn't matter. You can tattoo yourself. You can masturbate. You can do this. You can. It doesn't matter. They are liars. They don't love your soul. If they do love your soul, they will tell you the truth, the word of God, because God is pure, because God is holy. There is nothing fitting we enter the kingdom of God. There is nothing fitting we enter the kingdom of God. You and I must know as a child of God, let us be, begin to work on our salvation, on our salvation, on our, in our heart. All these things are coming from the heart. When you said, oh, it's my heart. My heart is saying, okay, look at your body. How do you dress? How do you dress? Okay, you said it's your body. Your, the, what is in your heart is what reflects outside you. Praise Master Jesus. May the Lord help us to make heaven. May the Lord, we are laboring, we are laboring right now. Every day we pray, every day we call upon the, some of us, we, we fast. We do, we, we go extra mile. At times we don't even sleep. We have to go to the night vigil. We have to do the, we should not labor in vain in the name of Jesus Christ. It is my prayer. God, God will not tell you and I that day, depart from me. You walk out of iniquity. I never knew you. God will not let it be your portion. That God will not let it be my portion upon all those, uh, uh, those sacrifices we are doing. And we still have one thing and another that is in our heart. We don't want to give it up. May the Lord give us a grace. Somebody hurt you, forgive that person. Somebody lying on you, forgive that person. So somebody, maybe the time you were, you were young, somebody raped you or somebody molests you, forgive that person. There is a reward for you. There is a reward waiting for you, for you forgiving that person. There is a reward God will reward you greatly. When you and I get to heaven, all those things, we don't even know, we don't even remember them. No. All you and I can do in heaven is a hallelujah, hallelujah, the glory of God. Enjoying our mansion, enjoying Father Lord Jesus, enjoy Father God, the Holy Angel, the sense. There, you know, there is a great reward for, waiting for us. Let us let us look onto, onto where you and I will spend our eternity. Praise Master Jesus. May the Lord help each and every one of us. May the Lord help us. Lord Jesus loves each and every one of us. None of us he wants us to, to perish, please. Let us walk on our salvation. As Father God said, Lord Jesus Christ, he said, take your cross daily. It is the day, only one day, you, the, day you, you, the day you accept me as your Lord, your Savior, is that day you take your cross and finish, you drop it, that is all. The, you close your eye in death and come to heaven. No, he says, you and I should take our cross daily by you and I dying to our flesh, by you and I watching for our soul. Our soul is precious. The enemy is seeking for your soul, isn't it? Father God wants your soul. The enemy wants your soul. So is you and I right now have to decide that the enemy will not have my soul. It's Jesus, we have my soul. Jesus is the one that died for my soul. It's Jesus that we, we give my soul to. May the Lord help each and every one of us. Jesus loves us. Let us see heaven. Let us see the things that God is preparing for us. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you, woman of God. May the Lord reward you in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, we are going to pray for the woman of God, the virtue that went out of her, for God to replenish unto her. Let us pray for her. 
Hallelujah. Oh, heavenly Father, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the ancients of the Father. Oh, Lord, my Father, we thank you for your servant. Lord. We thank you for using her to be a blessing to us, oh Lord. Oh, Lord, my Father, as you use her to be a blessing to us, Father. But I'm blessed and return in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father. But every virtue that went out of her, Lord, but I replenish unto her in the name of Jesus Christ. But I build the hedge of fire around her, Lord. But I send your angels to encamp around her, Lord. Oh, Lord, my Father, any power, any spirit, any personality that want to attack spiritually, physically, because of this message. Father, in the name of Jesus, can let your spirit raise the standard that gets those powers. In the name of Jesus, Christ, Father, beauty, head your fire around her, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Christ, Father, God be with her. Father, God be with her. Continue anointing her. Fresh anointing upon her every moment of the day for your glory, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. And thank God for this message. So right now we call upon the evangelist John, praise Master Jesus for the contribution. May the Lord bless you, man. Evangelist Jama. Please, ma. The noise is too much that even for me to hear is something else. Praise the Lord. I'm so sorry for this noise. As I said earlier, it's not in my reach. I cannot control it. What a wonderful message. Woman of God, more grace. We thank God for this message. It's a message to go home and think again. Rethink, ask yourself, am I using this message? Am I just hearing? Even if I used to hear, yeah, I have to start to practice them. Hallelujah. We are, going to, we are going to go into our contribution. We are talking about our third year and our offering. We are going to go search ourselves, our back, what will glorify God with? As he said, we should bring it into his house so that there will be food in his house. I will be singing this song while you'll be searching what you'll bless your father, the house of your father with today. Amen. Victory, victory. Amen. The Lord our God is by our side, putting our enemy under our feet. Victory, 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 victory. Amen. The Lord our God is by our side, putting our enemy under our feet. Victory, 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 victory. Amen. The Lord our God is by our side, putting our enemy under our feet. Amen. Let us lift up our tithe, our offering, and pray to God and commit it to God and ask God to bless it, to satisfy it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray, my Lord and my King, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we present, O Lord God Almighty, our offering and tithe before you, O Lord. We pray to you, O Lord God Almighty, Lord God Almighty, that may you bless and sanctify, multiply it, Lord, as he's doing the work in your hands, O Lord God Almighty. Father, remember, remember your children. There are children that does not have, O Lord. Remember them, O Father, and also bless them. Remember those that have given. Bless them, O Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. Father, we cover this offering and tithe with the precious blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you, ma. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. So please, I will like to give the, our weekly announcement. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Mondays, <laughs> Mon Mondays Tuesdays, and a Thursdays, at 1 p.m. London time, pray without ceasing. Father Lord Jesus Christ said to you and I, and the word of the Lord said to you and I that we should pray without ceasing. 
That is the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. So Tuesdays and the Thursdays at the midnight London time, please, if you have time, just join or let us stand for our, uh, for our family. Let us stand at the gap. As Father God says in his word that uh, we should not sleep like others are sleeping. Let us stand up and pray for our family and pray for ourselves in Jesus' name. So uh, um, godly children in Christ, 6 p.m. on Saturday at 6 p.m. London time. Please, if you have your children out there, please uh, bring your children. Let them come and learn the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord says, uh, which we parents, which you teach our children the word of the Lord. When they grow, they will not depart from it. That is the word of the Lord. So we have our Bible study two, twice, in a, twice in a month. Mondays, uh, twice in a month at 7 p.m. London time. And the virtual sermon as well. We have a, our virtual sermon time twice in a month as well. At 7, at 7 p.m. at London time, Monday. We bless the name of the Lord. Weekly night at VG, Friday. Friday is our weekly night VG at 11 p.m. London time. At 11 p.m. London time. So Sunday, our Sunday service uh, at 4.30 p.m. London time. Praise Master Jesus. So every the first Sunday of each month, a holy communion, Father, God, Father Lord Jesus Christ said that we should do it in remembrance of him. When you and I take communion, holy communion, we are doing it in remembrance of our lovely Jesus. So every first week of the month, we have the fasting and the prayer to dedicate the month into the into God's hands. So please, the next month, try to join us. You know, next month, uh, the Abba month has started, you know. We have to dedicate the month unto the hand of the Almighty God. Because you and I, we lie down, we sleep, but the enemy of your soul or my soul, they never sleep. So we have to dedicate the month unto the hand of the Lord to cancel whatsoever the enemy wants. The enemy have already pro programmed into that month. We have to, we have the month and the power Father God has given to us to cancel their plans. Because if you don't cancel their plans, the bad things that happen, then start regretting God will not let us regret in Jesus' name. Please uh, try to join us next month by the grace of God. May the Lord bless you all. This is the announcement for the week. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. I would like to right now, I will call upon our leader, Evangelist Mary, for the, for the benediction. May the Lord bless you all. Amen. God bless you too. In Jesus' name, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, King of glory. Father, we thank you for your presence in our midst, O Lord. Father, thank you for the call into repentance, O Lord. Father, because you know our heart, O Lord Jesus, Father, we have not yet get to the standard that you want us to get. That's why you give us this message, O Lord, Father, to examine ourselves daily, to check ourselves, and also to carry our cross. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, Father, for your love upon us. Father, you say you have mercy to whom you have mercy, compassion to whom you have compassion. Father, thank you for showing us mercy for making us to hear this message is your compassion that you are showing us because many died they didn't have this opportunity to make it right father they are there asking for one minute father you give us another chance Lord, father to amend our way to make it right before you thank you so much lord jesus father for your love kindness father we cannot do it alone without you give us the grace of lord jesus the power to overcome every work of the flesh in our life Father, give us the grace that the work of the flesh will not have dominion over us in the name of Jesus. Father, deliver us as you deliver Apostle Paul. Father, he cried to you. Father, you show him mercy and you deliver him. Father, we are crying all over Father, unto you. You want to free ourselves. We want to get to the standard that you want us to get. We want to walk our holiness with the fear of God, perfecting the holiness, all of us, with the fear of God in us. But we need your help, all of us. Help us, all of We cannot do it without you. Holy Spirit, come and reveal to us all the hidden things that we are forgetting about, that we need to repent of, that we don't even aware of it anymore. We don't even remember them anymore. Father, bring it to our remembrance. Any undone restitution, any unconfessed sin, Father, reveal it to us, all of us. Give us the heart of obedience, the obedience to the word of God. Father, let us to a, take us to a level that you have to repent in the way that repentance will bring transformation in our life. Not just to repent, but to be converted to old person, to kill the, the flesh in us, and to walk in the spirit according to your word in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your presence in our midst once again. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. We are going to use to cover ourselves. 
as you are leaving Zoom, we are not departing from your presence, Holy Father. Continue to talk to us, Holy Father. Let this word, Holy Father, this message bring conviction in our heart that you lead us to repentance in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. As we have come to the end of our program, we are going to share the grace and fellowship in the name of Jesus. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. For surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A few seconds silence, please. Amen. God bless you all. Shalom. Thanks for coming.